Okay. Good evening, folks. This is K5LYN. My name's Lynn. I'm in Austin. Does anybody need this frequency for any kind of emergency use or anything else? Not from me. Okay. Well, then let's do it. Uh, we have uh, Wednesday evenings. We get together here and talk vintage radio. This is the Boat Anchors Unlimited Net, and it's been here for many years now. Uh, my name is Lynn. I'm in Austin, and uh, this is a uh, Central Electronics 10A from the year 1952. I like to say it was when General Eisenhower was figuring on being president someday. I have it made it up with a Drake R4 receiver, and I built a transceive adapter such that I am transceiving in the manner of the Collins S line or the Drake twins or the Halicrafter twins or whatever. Uh, the 10A drives a converted night kit 50-watt uh, CW. Transmitter that was usually a, it was originally an 807, now it's a 6KD6, and it puts out 40 watts, and that 40 watts drives an L4B. Uh, we have uh, a variety of radios that uh, talk to us on this net, and buy sell trades are welcome if they are boat anchor related. And if you have a technical question about a uh, radio you're working on, this is a good place to ask for advice. Okay, I'm going to pick uh, six or seven people that I know are here, and then we'll pass it to Jay, and then we'll probably pass it to Rusty, and if a guy comes in, he can have a shot at it, and maybe Jim will take some check-ins. So we'll be here for an hour or so. K5BCN, Coy, you hearing me better over there now? How about it? K5LYN. All right, then. I'm trying to feel privileged to be the first one. K5LYN, the net. K5BCN. Hello, you and everybody on the net. Appreciate you picking it up for us. We own the 520S, driving a 811H amplifier, and a dipole antenna and a little Howl HM5 microphone. So that's it here. Been enjoyed the pre-net, and uh, we'll just listen around here a little bit. Everybody have a good evening and rest of the week. Thanks, Lynn. K5LYN, K5BCN. Spectacular signal, Coy. Really nice. It looks like you're across the street from me here in Austin. All right. How about Mike, uh, KL7CD? Mike, you still around there somewhere? Yeah, Lynn, I'm still here. Uh, this is Kilo Lima 7, Charlie Delta. I'm down here in New Brunswick, Texas, just north of San Antonio. Beautiful day today. It's uh, kind of clouded up this evening, but uh, we had a great day. And tonight I'm running a hybrid Yesu transceiver, it's Fox Tango 901, has the uh, monitor scope with it and a matching speaker. I have some other accessories, but they're not hooked up to it as yet. I'm still checking them out. And uh, I'm running that transceiver into a Heathkit Sugar Baker 201. That's like the 200, except no 10 meters. And that goes out via coax to a dipole of about 25 feet. And, Lynn, I'm happy to report that I got the old Johnson Thunderbolt running. So that was, it took me about 10 days to figure that one out, but I got her going. Back to Mission Control, KL7CD. Tell us about the Thunderbolt. Yeah, tell us more. Okay. Well, you know, it was blowing fuses, right, when I turned the plate transformer on. And one side of the uh, 240, uh, one leg of the 120 in that transformer runs all the low voltage stuff and and then the other leg runs the, uh, the high voltage and when I would turn it on it would blow a fuse and I check voltages I check resistances uh, one guy suggested I take the sound state rectifiers out and put in a pair of 3B 28s which I happen to have none of that made any difference I mean I got to looking at the schematic and since it was out of the cabinet I noticed that there was a, an interlock uh, between the chassis and the and the cabinet, and it was like a um, phenolic tube, like a rod, that uh, was spring-loaded, and when you put it in the cabinet, it would push that rod in, and it did something. So I kept looking at the schematic. I was expecting that when you put it in the cabinet, it would allow one lo uh, one leg of the of the line coming in to reconnect and. Uh, you know, I thought there might be something wrong there. Anyway, I got to looking at it, and what it really did, if you really study the schematic, when you pull that out of the cabinet and that rod goes back, what it does is it shorts across the uh, filter capacitor, which used to be an oil-filled capacitor, 8 microfarads, a big old huge thing, and that had been replaced with a capacitor board with six capacitors. And, and I, I 
assume that the idea is when you pull it out of the case, it discharges the capacitor so you don't grab a hold of it and shock yourself. But it is definitely not an interlock on the lines coming in. The minute I push that in, put a new fuse in, turn the plate on, I got 220 volts, and everything's cool. What do you think of that? Well, you know, <laughs> we, 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 we've all been in that uh, uh, enigma, uh, I think, Mike. Uh, sometimes if we have, don't get in the heads of people 60 years ago, we don't know how stuff works. Yeah, that was the last thing I was looking for. I knew I had a short somewhere, but I, I just, I never would have guessed it was the interlock. Okay. The point is, you found it. Uh, I, I, that's a lesson for all of us. Persist. Okay, Mike, anything else for the net this evening? All right. How about KE5Q? What do you say, Jim? K5LYN. Well, am I on the air here? How about Byron? WA5EDX, Byron? Yeah, I'm here, Lynn, and halfway on frequency, right? You're sounding fine. Okay, this is WA5EDX uh, in beautiful Bluffdale, Texas. And yeah, uh, that uh, pulling that uh, uh, bonehead thing with the interlock there, that's, uh, that has a technical term. That's called pulling the Byron. Pulling the Byron on that rig. Ha, ha, ha. So, uh, uh, been there, done that, as they say. Well, getting down to what we're doing here, we're on a Kenwood. 820. Surprise, surprise. Uh, not an S, not an S. And this one uh, is like the only 820 I've ever seen that hadn't had the uh, optional D digital display installed. So I don't have a blinking display uh, to worry about fixing. Hi, hi. Barefoot, of course. MC50 mic. I switched out mics, but y'all can tell me if I've still got any hum at all in here. And uh, maybe this radio will go on the table at Belton. Uh, I guess this is the preliminary, preliminary Belton uh, net night. So uh, uh, I looked at the forecast a little earlier, and my weather forecast only goes through like Wednesday of next week, but it's supposed to be nice. Wednesday of next week, so maybe that'll hang around uh, through the weekend and we won't get any tornadoes blowing through on us. <laughs> or a hailstorm. Uh, or at least not a hailstorm like they had up there in uh, East Dallas last week. Whew. That was a bad one. Uh, so that's all I know for sure. Nice to hear everybody on here tonight. The band's in uh, great shape. And uh, good to hear all these old sounding rigs tonight. So. That was long winded enough, long -winded enough that y'all could give me the detailed report on the on the audio here. Good to hear you, Lynn. And when you threw on that uh, uh, amp, it it did help. Uh, K4LYN, WA5EDX. Okay, okay, Byron. Well, uh, that radio has nice audio and it produces a hum of nice quality. Also, your audio is about 20, maybe a little more than 20 over. And the hum is at about S7 or S8, so it's pretty significant. Over. Okay. Well, I'll know what to work on then. Thank you. Okay. Good luck. Keep us posted. All right. Let's see. Let me go back and see if KE5Q Jim is there. What about it, Jim? Yeah, I'm here. I am here. I just uh, I made a pit stop. Uh, uh, K5LYN in the net. KE5Q Jim in Plano. I'm on the uh, KWM2. Uh, 30L1, the Ultimax Double Bazooka 8040, and the microphone is the old Sure 444. Four. So, uh, and Byron, that hum is, uh, as Lynn said, is uh, is pretty significant there, even though the audio does sound good. K5LYN in the net, KE5Q. Jim, we're going to see you at Belton? Oh, yeah. We'll be there uh, Friday morning around 745. Okay, if I've met you, I forgot you, so look for me around the uh, tailgate area, barbecue grill, all that stuff. Friday's the only day I can, only day I can be there, so uh, let's cross paths. Yeah, well, remember, we uh, Robert and uh, Byron and Dave and I, we always have the two tables inside for the last 10 or 12 years. We're always there. Okay, now I know. Now I remember. Thanks, <laughs> thanks for the tip. All right, we'll catch you then. Okay, let me talk to my neighbor, George. What do you say, TXW? Over to you. WB5TXW, hello, all around the net. 
Top box just on the rice box and uh, setting back and listening. WB5TXW back to net. Sounding good, George. All right, I don't need to talk any longer. Let's give it to Jay and let uh, let some other people talk here this evening. Mr. Uh, KM5QS, pick it up. K5LYN. Well, okay, I can do that. K5LYN, KM5QS. Boat Actors Unlimited net this evening. I am coming to you all on a Kenwood TS830S. I'm uh, talking into it with a Electra Voice. 664. Um, I've got the whole station, and I'm going through a 30L1 to a homebrew tuner and homebrew uh, ladder line and or open wire line and uh, antenna. So hopefully at 650 watts, it's doing a, a little bit anyway. Uh, let me see. The first guy I heard in here this evening was down about as far south as you can go and stay in Texas. Jim, WJ5MS, come on in here. And sometimes we don't want to stay in Texas, but the way things are going right now, we'll uh, we'll stay this side of the border. Thank you. I uh, got the usual uh, TS820 on here. Uh, as things go, uh, I did take a um, a uh, display out of another radio, and so I do have a display of my 820, but <laughs> and it does have a uh, 12 volt uh, uh, inverter on the back of it. But at any rate, uh, we use that to drive the uh, SB220 and uh, get it all lined out with an old uh, 2040 tuner and 135 feet of wire out there, and that's about the size of all that monstrosity. Back to you there, Jay, WJ5MS. All right, good deal. Well, sounding great as usual. <laughs> You're mostly loud up here all the time, as long as the band's halfway decent. All righty. Um, Mr. Uvalde, KB5ZIV. Jim, go ahead. Hey, Brother Jay. Everybody else on the boat anchor's net. This is KB5ZIV. I'm, uh, you know, here and having a little fun this evening. I had a little break, so I'm on the FT-102. I'm driving the uh, AL-1500. Everything goes through the tinger out there to the big old ladder line fed antenna, and hopefully the darn thing's working all right. KB5ZIV. Sounds fine over here. Kind of sound like a Yesu, but I guess that's okay. <laughs> Whew. Um, well, let me see. There's a hot water 12 out there that's just waiting to get on there. K8WOZ, go ahead now. Oh, hey. Good evening, Jay, and everybody else on the boat anchors. Uh, yeah, well, I know I'm probably off your frequency a little. I zeroed up on Lynn. I, he sounded good, but uh, everybody else is a little bit different than that. Anyway, this Dan in Houston, it's a, this is an HW-12 I picked up down at Rosenberg. I got two of them for uh, less than $20, and it uh, takes a bit of work, you know, but they're pretty simple. I got this one going, partially. A little more work to put do on it. Uh, I'm going to have to put a different dial mechanism. This just got too much backlash, but uh, shoot, it's putting out almost 170 watts, which is typical of these things. And... Uh, that's about it. The mic is a Shure 444D, and of course I had a few more pots to clean up here, and maybe a little alignment and uh, a little more cleanup, but uh, it's come to life anyway. I haven't even started on the other one yet. The other one's a 12A, so maybe a week or two I'll have that on. That's it from here, Jay. Thanks for letting us in. K-W-O-Z. No, okay, Dan. <laughs> Good deal. From the sounds of it, you're probably going to have a bunch of Heathkit gear for sale at Belton. Uh, <laughs> it, it sounds pretty good. Uh, yep. Yeah, the probability to drag all this stuff around, nobody wants it. Well, I don't know. If they hadn't, if if they don't want it, then they hadn't listened to it. So I don't know. Anyway, no, it sounds great. Uh, sounds fine. You're you're close enough to my frequency. I don't have. I don't know if I want frequency or not. As long as we understand each other, it's close enough. Roger. Well, uh, 
They're fun to work on anyway. That's what it's all about. Just clean them up, make them work, and uh, put them on the shelf till you decide to pawn them off to somebody. <laughs> okay, that'll work. Good deal, Dan. We'll see you after a while. And see you at Belton, I'm sure. Oh, uh, Whiskey Alpha 5, Echo India Juliet, the man with the 200V. Uh, good evening, uh, there, Boudreaux. Uh, this is uh, Whiskey Alpha 5 Echo India Juliet, Joseph in Magnolia. Um, I want to say hello to all the boat anchor guys. Looking forward to seeing you guys at Belton. Um, you guys are listening to a um, Central Electronics 200V, uh, big brother to Lens 10A. And I am listening to you guys on a Drake R4 Charlie. And uh, since we've got so many guys, I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut, turn it back to Jay. You got it, Jay. Over. Oh, thank you, sir. Thanks for checking in, being there, and we're looking forward to seeing y'all and you and, and, and Janet at Belton. Uh, it's been too long. Six months has been too long. Anyway, um, Lynn said we're doing about five or six at a time. Why don't I go ahead and give it to Rusty and then just let him go ahead and uh, continue on after he tells us what he's on, and then we'll go from there, maybe give it to Jim after that. What do you think? Sure, go for it. Okay. Rusty? You check in, and then you take over. KM5QS. Okay, Jay. This is WK5R. Name's Rusty. Located up here halfway between Dallas and Tyler. Radio is an FT101 double E. I am using a different mic tonight. That might be a little hot. I don't know right now. I messed with a little bit while y'all were doing all your stuff there. So, um, It's the audio technica, and I'm driving the homebrew GS35B. And to a homebrew fan dipo. With that, I'll see if there's any check ins for the Boat Anchors Unlimited. Come now. WB5RON. Alright, go ahead there, WB5RON. Go ahead, Ron. Uh, yes, sir. That's not for any harms. I'm trying to I think I've uh, eliminated it, I hope. But I am running a, a Electro Voice. Uh, 423A dash mic and uh, the radio is a SB100 heat cat uh, feeding uh, an SB220 uh, heat cat amplifier and uh, that's about it. I'm located uh, north of Shawnee, Oklahoma little town of Baker. Uh, how do y'all copy? Uh, copy you just fine there, uh, Ron. Uh, everything sounds all right with the, the ESB-100 and the uh, and the microphone there. and Everything seems to be working, over. Yeah, I had quite a time. My fault, uh, you know, being able to get the uh, amplifier uh, to... Uh, you know, key up. I was uh, trying to get by with doing a shortcut. You know, there's several ways of doing things. You know, my way, your way, and the government way. And but I, end, I ended up doing it uh, uh, the way that uh, the book said to do it. I had the pigtail in behind the the, the transceiver and get on pin 11 on the center conductor and 5 on the, uh, the other. But uh, it seems to be um, doing all right, I hope. WD5 ron yeah, It's working, Ron. All right, appreciate you checking in. Uh, who's next for the Board Anchors Unlimited? Come down. K zero SCD. Yeah, it's Steve. Yeah, thanks, Rusty. Boy, I don't know. I'm getting into the speaker. Going to have to do something about that. Anyway, K zero SCD, Tyler, Texas. <clears throat> Tonight I'm on the Kenwood uh, 520 and a 301, a dipole up 40 odd feet, and MC 50, and that's about it. Uh, see everybody in Belton. Back to you, Rusty. K zero SCD. All right, Roger, Roger there, Steve. Look forward to seeing all y'all there at Belton too. All right, who else is uh, for the Boat Anchors Unlimited? Come now. Kilo 5, Lima Tango. Uh, Lima Tango, go ahead. 
Uh, good evening, Rusty. Everyone on the net, this is Lyle, Lee Mianke, Lee Mbeko, located in Bernie, Texas, about a little over 30 miles north of San Antonio. And I was going to try to keep the Heath Kit theme running there, but didn't quite make it. So we're running the Heath Kit stuff tonight. Got the SB 101 running, and also got the Heath Kit SB 221 amp. So that's one series newer than the previous fellow. And uh, everything's working good. Good to hear everybody tonight. And hear everybody talking about Belton. Don't know if I'm going to be able to make it this year or not, or this time around. Uh, see what's going on. So, kids in high school are keeping me busy. So, we'll make it if we can. If not, we'll catch you on the next one. So, Rusty, back to you. K5LT. Yeah. Uh, okay, Lyle, well, yeah. Uh, radio sound just fine. Sound like you might be just a little bit uh, uh, down frequency from me. But, uh, other than that, she's working fine. Okay, who else is next for the boat angles? Unlimited, come now. You are sorry, boy. Uh, that station come again. You were a little off frequency, and I couldn't understand you. You are sorry, boy. Oh, okay. KC5L, go ahead. Yeah, good evening, everyone. Uh, Tom is San Antonio. And uh, we're running the uh, turn to be on the Central Electronic 200 feet. And a... Uh, I'd like to avoid 664, and uh, we're running uh, open wire line to a uh, uh, two wire dipo and I'm just on a uh, on an R398, and that's about all I have. Just looking forward to Belton back to that case. Bye, Belton. All right. Yeah. The the uh, <laughs> central electronic sounds good there. I was just a little bit off. I mean, that's zero in on you there, but. Everybody here is the same. Sound like it's working. Okay, uh, who else from Bone Hangers Unlimited come now? Hey, come back down to the frequency. Uh, can you need a there, little man. Okay, yeah. <laughs> uh, he, uh, yeah, Tom was up the band a bit, may have uh, drifted on him, but yeah, I ought to be within, uh, I just see road to my 706, so I ought to be pretty much here. Okay, am I back on now? Sounds good. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, who is that? W. Whiskey Papa Echo. Go ahead. Uh, correct. Uh, Kilo Golf Five Whiskey Papa Echo. Name here is Jason in Missouri City. Uh, running a KW Electronic 2000 A uh, mid 60s English made radio into an attic mounted uh, random length dipole. Uh, microphone, nothing special to talk about. Uh, also, uh, looking forward to uh, getting up the belt. Uh, KG5, WPE, back to the net. Uh, okay. Uh, now, the uh, British radio is sounding good from uh, Missouri City. <laughs> anyway, uh, you, the only one of those I think mean, we've heard on that, and, and you've had it on here several times before, so appreciate you checking in. All right, who is next for the Boat Anchors Unlimited? Come now. Whiskey Alpha 5, Golf Fox Oscar. Uh, Golf Fox, Golf Fox Oscar. Uh, easy for me to say. Go ahead. Yeah, good evening. Uh, this is WA5GFO. The name is Gary, Golf Alpha Romeo Yankee. And I'm in Mino, Oklahoma, up in the northwest part of the state. I'm running a Kenwood 820 and uh, pushing a, uh, a little Yezu uh, 2100. And the antenna's uh, inverted V, and the microphone's uh, MC50. So, uh, on to the next guy. Seven threes, everybody. Back to you. WA5GFO. Yeah, Gary, the, uh, the old Kenwood's sounding good there. <laughs> Big signal down here uh, from up there in Oklahoma. All right. Who's next for the Boat Angers Unlimited? Come now. November 5, Bravo, Tango, Mexico. Okay, big tall man, go ahead. Yeah, uh, good evening, Rusty and the rest of the net. This is Ralph N5 BTM, located in Spring. And uh, it looks like the old green machine is, uh, is working. Hopefully it is. Uh, SB100, and that's driving a homebrew GS35B. Uh, trap dipole uh, antenna in the inverted V configuration. And that's going through an MFJ uh, tuner. And probably uh, looks like about seven, eight hundred watts out this evening. 
So, uh, really enjoy this. Look forward to it every week, and uh, glad you guys uh, run the net. Uh, really enjoy it. Anyway, back to you, Rusty, in 5 BTM. All right, Ralph, appreciate you checking in. The old heat kick green machine is doing its thing. All right, I'm going to take about one more and then see if they want to send it to uh, a land or, or uh, down there by the Mexican border. All right, anybody else for the uh, Bird Eggers Unlimited come now? Well, there was somebody there, but I couldn't make it out. Uh, you want to pick it up for around land, or do you want me to try to see if Jim wants it? Well, let's see if Jim's over there. KB5ZIV, WK5R, you there, Jim? Yeah, I'm still here, brother. Uh, I think I'm still here. Is it still on frequency? Yeah, pretty yeah. darn close. You want to take a round? Yeah, I'll take a couple. Now, go ahead. It's the flip balls in your court. I do, I do. All right, folks, this is KB5ZIV. This is the Boat Anchors Unlimited Net. If you would like to check in with us this evening, if you'll come with your call sign slowly, spread them out a little bit for me, guys. It's a tiny bit noisy, and I'll try to get you out of there. Jim, go ahead. Well, hello there, Jim. KB5ZIV in the Boat Anchor Net. Uh, this is the other Jim, WD5JKO in Round Rock, Texas. So uh, everyone got a nice signal tonight and just thought I'd get in here. Uh, the, the rig that was hooked up and turned on was the uh, Gonset uh, G76. So you're hearing double sideband with carrier. So anyway, you got about 100 and, I don't know, 120 watts out and something like that. Not a whole lot. So anyway, that's the setup here. Uh, back to net. Uh, KB5ZIV, WD5JKO. All right, Jim, it's working. It's got a good signal for 120 watts, brother. It sure does. I didn't know it was on AM. <laughs> it sounds good on AM, too. Yeah, I think they're supposed to. All right, folks, this is KB5ZIV. You're listening to the Boat Anchors Unlimited Net. If you would like to check in with us this evening, if you'll come with your call signs slowly, spread them out a little bit for me, guys. I'll try and get you in here. Jim, I think MTT and CXG are on the list. Okay, well, I was going to I figured there was some more on the list, and I didn't make one, so maybe what I better do is shuffle it over there to Lynn and, and, or you, and uh, y'all get the ones that were here before. I can give it a try. Now, I may not have it quite right, but we know Bob was. <laughs> Nicely uh, done, Jim. You sound great. Uh, KA5CXG, how about it, Bob? Well, what about uh, maybe Bob's uh, down the hall? Let's try. Did we pick up Ron, KG5BZ? And did we, I don't know if we got uh, Lyle, K5LT. Did we get Lyle? Yeah, I got Lyle. Okay. All right. E either of you guys that I called, are you all there somewhere? Okay, maybe not. Uh, well, all right, this is K5LYN, Lynn in Austin on the Central Electronics 10A from the year 1952. Who wants to talk boat angers tonight? I'm listening. What about W5OMR? Jeff, are you there somewhere?
Okay, Jeff. Okay, about 30% copy. 30% copy, and I know you told me there was somebody else there, but I'm not going to hear him. <laughs> but good to hear you. I'm glad we gave it a try. All right, who else for the boat anchors? K5LYN calling and listening. How about K0AS? Arnie, are you there? Okay, I'm going to make one last call, then I'll pass it back around to somebody else. Uh, anybody want to talk to me or anybody else on the Boat Anchors Unlimited this evening? The band, uh, I think, is open. If we can hear Jeff in uh, Missouri, I think it was, we ought to be hearing some more folks out there. Who wants to talk to Boat Anchors? K5LYN, listening. Whiskey Victor 5 India. Okay, Dwayne, I read your email about the uh, <laughs> about the, the shelf in the 30L, the 30S1. I still don't want one, over. Oh, you still don't want one? No. Oh, you need an attitude adjustment. Well, I know that, but <laughs> I, my, the, my 30S1 that I had adjusted my attitude as far as it'll go. I understand. How you doing this evening? Oh, we're doing pretty good. We're up here in Munster, and the weather is nice, and uh, I think we're going to get some rain later in the week. Anyway, we're on the S-line, a 32S3, driving a 30S1 to about a kilowatt into an inverted V at 35 feet. And the receiver is a 75S3B. Well... It's a beautiful signal. You and WA5MTT, Mike, are the two guys that have the courage to work on these. Uh, you, you have my uh, eternal admiration. Well, thank you. I didn't do the work. I just operated. Well, I do know Bill Carnes. He's not that far from me, you know, down here in, uh, in the Austin area. I've been over, I haven't been to his place, but I've, uh, I've seen him several times down in uh, Collins' gatherings, and he's a nice fellow and a learned, a learned individual, so that was uh, nicely done. Yeah, if you get a chance, you need to call him up and go by and see his check. It's kind of unique. Yeah, I've heard that. Uh, I did go down there when uh, K7 Rocky Mountain time. Uh, Bud Whitney was well. Uh, but, uh, uh, you know, after he passed, we haven't been down there. One of these days. There you go. We're 73, everybody. All right. Good to hear you. Who else for the net? K5LYN. Listening? <laughs> Mr. W5IS. How you doing, Doug? Well, the roads are just as crowded as they ever were. Oh, Roger, Roger, I, I know about I-10. I, I made a trip over to Alabama a couple of weeks ago. A friend of mine passed away and I picked up his estate and, boy, uh, Alabama to uh, New Orleans, it was a moving parking lot, but anyway, I'm on my 830, uh, Lynn, and I've uh, been listening off and on, I thought I got picked up earlier, but uh, I guess y'all missed me, but uh, I've been listening, so uh, I hadn't got anything else to say, like there's a way 30 and uh, running a solid speed amp, uh, and it's uh, picking up for about nine something. Band seems to be holding up good. You know, you got stronger as you talked. At first, I wasn't hearing you all that well, but the band must be fluctuating a little bit because you got the uh, longer you talked, the better it got. Anyway, good to hear you, Doug. Uh, what what kind of estate items did you bring back? Oh, I've got a number of rigs. Uh, I've got a. AL 1500 here that I'm scared to run the 830 into, and uh, I've got two uh, 706 uh, Mark 2Gs, I've got a uh, 840 uh, M Wood, two of them, and of course uh, he, he had quite a bit of still pads on I hadn't really started. I wish I was able to make it to Belgium with them, uh -huh. so they'd be a good place to go with it, but uh, just not able to make it over there, Lee. It's a long way. Well, keep us posted on all that stuff. The 706 Mark II G, I have one of those, and uh, I, I find it's a, not only a great radio, but it sure is a, a good tool when you're working on uh, a radio because you can hear a lot of stuff with them. Roger, roger. Okay, anything else for the net this evening? I'm about checking it all out, make sure everything's working right now. Probably 
I'll be at, uh, I guess the next one will be uh, three boards and then what I don't do there, well, I'll uh, try to settle on the internet. Uh, W5I is scheduled another time, W5I. Okay, yeah, your signal continued to come up. All right, let me take one more check in, then I'll give it to Jay. Who else for the net? K5LYN. Jay, I think uh, we better pass the torch. Over to you. <laughs> okay. Well, I got a, a few names on the list that uh, we hadn't talked to yet, whether whether the band dropped out between us or whether they just had to uh, do something different. I don't know. But Whiskey Alpha 5, MTT. How about you, Mike? Are you listening? Okay. Uh, KA5CXG. Bob. I am here. KA5CXG. Saw that signs Didn't get the hybrids on tonight, but I got the SB2 uh, 200 on, and I... Uh, I mean, it's an uh, old MT-3000, so that's partial boat anchor anyway. Uh, I'm kind of getting the, the hops to play with a HW-101. Somebody's got a good one for sale out there. Uh, send me an email. My call's good on QRZ. Uh, Kilo Alpha 5, Charlie X-Ray Golf. Also, I'm still looking for my resistors. Still looking for them uh, 40 ohm 20 watt resistors, carbon resistors. Somebody's got some. I don't keep looking for. I know there's some out there somewhere, and they'll come through one day. Anyway, that's it. Jay, don't have anything. Uh, I'm gonna play with. Probably get the 820 over here next week. Something play with it. And uh, um, <coughs> mine did the same thing Byron's did uh, when I got it, and uh, wiggled all the plugs inside, and it quit. It was a ground. It was a. It was a. It was a ground on the mic. What it was. I, I first cured it by just running a wire from the base to the MC uh, 50 to the radio. Just ran a wire to the radio to the base of the MC 50 and cured it. Then found out it was one of those little plugs on the inside. They wasn't making good contact on one of the boards, uh, the audio boards. So you know those those 820s are just full of little quirks like that. Anyway, that's it for me. Everybody have a good week, K5CXG. Okay, Bob. Yeah, um, Byron, uh, did you hear that? Oh, yeah, Roger. I'll make note of that. I'll check that out. Okay, good deal. That's what it's all about. We find some stuff sometimes that uh, we weren't aware of, or maybe we just need to be reminded. Who knows? <laughs> I'm bad about that myself. Um, folks, Bob... Uh, and and you you Heathkit collectors out there um, that have too many, Bob has a hankering to play with an HW101. Um, so if y'all have one to spare, y'all might give Bob a holler. He's good on QRZ under his call sign, Kilo Alpha 5 Charlie X-Ray Gulf. And um, y'all can y'all talk about it. And he's also still looking for his 40 ohm, 20 watt carbon resistors. Um, he hadn't been able to find any yet. 20 watt. Now, that's a pretty good size. I guess that's why. I don't know. People don't. Anyway, but he's still needing some, whatever you got. And once again, he is good on QRZ for email, so that'll work for that. All right, Bob. Thank you, sir. We'll um, talk to you later. Okay. Who else? Dale, did you get back in here yet, WOF? KFI CDG. Well, George, why don't you check in? Go ahead. Well, I just wanted to tell you that uh, your problem seemed to have cured itself, and your audio even sounds uh, clearer now, and I can hear your background. It's staying at a steady level, like you were saying there, but uh, that's all I had to say. KFI CDG. Oh, well, thank you. Well, I may have to turn the mic gain down a little bit if it's getting getting in there, um, but I'm not close to it right this second. So <laughs> maybe in a minute. Uh, let me try Mike one more time. Oh, thank you, George. Let me try Mike one more time. WA5MTT. Mike, you back by the radio? Yeah, I guess not. 
Um, KG5BZ, Ron, how about you? Well, then I think I'm hearing crickets. Well, I heard those too, Jay. Uh, well, shall we see if Rusty can drum up any uh, business? If not, we may be winding it down. KA5LYL. That's not a cricket. I hope not. Okay. Yeah, I'll go, I'll go ahead, Todd, and then, then Rusty can pick it up after Todd gets done. Hello, Rusty. Hello, everybody. I, I just barely got in here by the skin of my chin, chin, chin. K-A-5-L-Y-L. I may have a little too much compression. I do not know. Uh, like I said, I just uh, got in here. I said, you better put it in a fire-up mode. So we got it in fire-up mode. TS9, uh, Kenwood TS-930. A real nice Kenwood TS-930 is that. Uh, matching very early Kenwood MC-60 desk mic. This is the model that has that does not have the preamp, nor does it have the up-down buttons. There's a blank-out plate where the up-down buttons would go in the MC60 Alpha. So this is apparently a very early MC60, and it's in just just like new. And about 75 watts because I intentionally throttled the radio back inside to do to hit a brick wall there into an Ameritron AL80. An original, original AL80, not the A or the B. It's, this is a single meter job, so it's old. It has the incandescent light for the push to, uh, for the uh, transmit indicator on it. It's so old, red, indica red incandescent indicator light. And I think I'm getting around. I don't know. I better not whistle again. I'll make somebody mad. Uh, but when I tuned it up, I saw around se uh, around 750 on a peak. So that's what we got going here. Hope the audio is, t is tolerable. Oh, and then the antenna is an off-center fed dipole, whole brood off-center fed dipole with a four to one balance. Back to that. Okay, Todd. Thank you for checking in, and I've got it now. WK5 all with the boat anchors unlimited. Who wants to talk boat anchors? Come now. Anybody left out there wants to talk boat anchors? Come now. I'll make an announcement, Rusty. Okay, go ahead, man. Okay, this is K5LYN. For those of you that don't know, uh, W5MTT Matt often records the net. Uh, and if you send him an email, W5MTT at W5MTT.com, uh, he will uh, put you on the list to receive the cordy recordings. I listen to it beginning to end every week that he ever does it, and I really appreciate his work. And also, if you send him uh, one picture of your vintage radio stuff with a sentence or two describing it, uh, he'll uh, post it to the site. And several of us are already on there, including this station I'm on right now. Back to you, Rusty. Hey, Lynn, isn't that MIX? Uh, yeah, it sure is. I get my P's, and <laughs> thank you for correcting me. Yeah, W5MIX at W5MIX.com. I thought that sounded kind of funny when I said it. Is that where you send the pics? Say again? Is that where you send the, the pics of the finished stuff? Yes, it is. Okay, I'll probably send, it, send him one. W5MIX at W5MIX.com, right? Yes, and thanks to Jay for correcting me. You're welcome. Okay, real good. I appreciate it, guys. Back in there. K-A-5-L-Y-L. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, Lynn, that's 90-degree uh, uh, crosses instead of uh, 45. <laughs> anyway, anybody else out there want to talk boat anchors before we get ready to shut this thing down? Come on. I was bad in geometry, Rusty. <laughs> Roger. Well, I didn't hear nobody else. You want to tie the ribbons on it there, Lynn? K5LYN and the Bold Acres Unlimited, WK5R. Anybody else want to talk to us before we mix up more X's and T's? K5LYN calling and listening. 73's, what a great net. Over to you, Jay. All righty. One question. Is my audio any better now? I uh, cut the mic game back a little bit more. I think it's been fine uh, since uh, way long ago when we were talking about it. It was a little bit funny. I think it's been fine, the old net. Oh, okay. All righty. Well, just, just checking. I didn't want too much background or whatever. Anyway, that's, that's fine. All right. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a good net. We've, uh, we had 28 check-ins, and uh, out of those 28, only three didn't show when we called them. 
so not too bad. Uh, band's still in there, but sometimes people have to, you know, they can't just sit there the whole time. Uh, sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. No big deal. Catch them next time. Uh, Folks, no. um, we are seven days away, or eight days actually, but uh, for me it's seven days from Belton. And we're looking forward to seeing everybody that can make it down there. It's going to be a fun. It's going to be lots of stuff uh, for sale, trade, swap, uh, look at, uh, whatever. But mostly, it's going to be lots of fun visiting and uh, having a good time and and uh, enjoying some of the delicately flavored oh. condiments that come from the barbecue pit or the smoker. Or whatever you want to call it, as long as you don't come late for dinner. So anyway, um, Bye. thanks for checking in and participating. Everyone have a good week, two weeks, whatever. Get ready, save up save up your energy and come to Belton and party down. KM5QS, 7 threes all around. That like good food and camaraderie? Okay, there was a recheck. Go ahead. Yes, uh, I was hoping... Uh, Randy, W5RCD, uh, down there at the Betty, Texas, would be on. I bought this amp from him, and uh, but he's, uh, he's a preacher, and he said he might get home in time after church, so apparently he didn't make it. This is WB5RON. was looking for W5RCD. Say, Ron, K5LYN. Uh, yes, sir. Hey, I think you did nice work on it. It sounds good. Uh, everything's correct. Well, I appreciate that. Uh, it, uh, I had to, you know, scratch my head a little bit. But uh, anyway, it's uh, audio. It's up and out about 600 uh, on peaks of about 1,000. Hey, Lynn? Yeah. Uh, I saw your, uh, it's the transmitter that you have the matching amp for. I was look, uh, browsing through some field day vintage radio stuff and saw yours on there, I think 2015. And how's, how's the audio on this newly acquired MC60? Yeah, it's perfectly good. Oh, great. Yeah, your setup looks real nice. That's something that's good. Oh, that's dumb it. What is that? Oh, something t- with a 10 or... I can't remember what that thing is. Anyway, I saw it, and it, you had the matching amplifier to it there. It's hard to say. There's a lot of pictures out there. Uh, I, I don't know which one you saw, but uh, whatever. I'm glad it worked. The CE10B. Well, but, well, if you go to Nick Tusa's site, see, I've got the, I've got a 20A there, and I've got this 10A, and so they, they don't tell them what might show up sometimes. Yeah, if it was that one, I'm almost sure, and he had the matching amplifier there, too, and the guy was, an old, an old guy that has a wife, I believe, that's in a wheelchair, which was calling CQ Field Day on it, looked real nice. Okay, that was it, yeah, that was at Jonesboro then, okay, all right, yeah, you found that, that, I, that was probably the 28. Yeah, I'm sure it was, and it looked real nice, like I said, it had the matching amp and all that stuff there, and the Drake receiver, real nice. Yeah, okay, glad you found that. Roger. Yeah, that was uh, Wes Shum, the guy that founded Central Electronics and his wife. That was it, Central Electronics. Oh, that's who that was. Oh, my God. I bet he was really pleased out for us that then. Yeah, that was a big day for all of us. I bet it was. Oh, man. Is that something that uh, the guy that made the stuff right, able to operate some of it so many, year, so many years later? Yeah, he lived to be about 95, 97 years old, something like that. Yeah, that's awesome. Hey, there's you... RCD. Uh, uh, R.O. Weimer's looking for you. Well, I was just wondering if I missed the net. We just closed it there. Uh, 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 WV5 R.O.N., are you still there? Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, I was going to get on frequency with uh, with Randy. Yeah, you're sounding good, Mr. Ron. Yeah, I just got in from church, kind of running a little bit late, and I was wanting to be on my Hot Water 101 tonight, but I developed a problem with it, and 
checking in with the Kenwood TS520S. Still sounds nice. Sounding good, Randy. Hey, uh, uh that, uh, dead work when I got that, uh, uh, nine, or eleven pan, uh, plug and, uh, pigtail in on the back of the, the receiver. Uh, so it's keying it up and, and, uh, it's working and, and it got away from the hum, I think. Sounds clear to me, Mr. Rod. Okay. You're a good cheerleader. Uh, good choir director. I appreciate it.